This video goes over how to construct congruent angles in Geometry Sketchpad using the compass or circle tool and the segment tool. To get started, you're going to press the fourth button down, which is the segment tool, and you're going to construct a segment by pressing down on a spot to make the first point and pressing down on another spot to make the second point. You're also going to construct another segment starting at one of your endpoints and extending it in a different direction, making an angle. Next, you're going to construct a larger segment anywhere in the file. Then you're going to press the third button down, which is your circle or compass tool, and you're going to construct a circle that has its center at the vertex of your angle and has a radius that's smaller than the edges of your angle. you're going to construct a smaller segment from your vertex of the angle to the edge of the circle. You're also going to construct a segment that connects your two points where your angle meets the circle. So that first one there and then this one here as well. Okay, This segment will be used later in this video. Using the select tool, we're going to highlight the radius of our circle and one of the points on our bigger segment. And then we're going to go to the construct menu, circle by center and radius. And then you're going to create an extra point where your circle intersects your segment. Then you're going to select that new point and the segment that connects the two points where your first angle meets the circle. So this extra slanted line that we had made, you're going to use that in the next command with the intersection point of your circle and segment. And you're going to then go to construct another circle by center and radius. Okay, Where your two circles intersect right up here that is actually where your new angle is going to connect to. So there's my angle. Now we're going to end up hiding all of the additional segments that we have. So this extra piece, the circle, and the two circles that we have. And then we're going to go to display, hide objects, and then to make sure that we have congruent angles we can actually measure each one. So let's go and highlight three points and make sure that your vertex is your third point and go to measure angle. And then we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to highlight these three points and I'm going to do measure angle. Notice that the two angle measurements are the same and therefore your angles are congruent. 